Hi, how are ya? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we got a new dagger, but I upgraded it, and it seems like it's not better than the one we currently have, which is too bad. Wasted a couple of materials there. It is what it is. Today, we are on the search for more loot and XP, and I think we will start the day off with Her Heretic's Asylum. Dungeon of Fixes, Thorns, Empowered Elites, Monster Bleeding Damage, Monster Cold Resist, and Unstoppable Monsters. Yeah, it's too bad. I got a little excited. Thought we got a piece. But um, I upgraded it to rank 5, and it seems like it wasn't better. Alright, off to Heretic's Asylum. Let's so see what we're fighting in here. Smells good. Don't stir too much, though. Yes, yes. Ah, it looks like this might be manslaying. Maybe. My friend, this is an event? I won't last on my own. <laughs> what the heck an event is? Yeah, I think it's manslaying. So we got a manslaying elixir going. Manage from here. Please take this. I think these are considered humanoids. The Triune? So it looks like it's a mix of Cathedral of Light and Triune. Triune are. I think they're just the followers of Bale. Pretty sure. You're the last one. These guys right here are triune members. Make our duplicates. Maybe they're the followers of just any demon, really. I think they follow Lilith for a bit. I think they probably still are in this game. We got a Paragon point, guys. There we go. Five Dexterity. Getting close to a new rare node.
looks like we have to go to the other side. It's time to recharge. Much damage going out here. As occur enough enemies has to be like my favorite event. Fight so many mobs. Get all the loot from that chest too. All right, we got blast wave. Pretty damn good shrine. Let's go right over here. Too bad we're not getting like a big pack here. Yeah. And we're done. We just have to deposit the animus. That's too bad. I need more time. Wish we got that a little earlier. Scar Grandor. He's down this way. So weird seeing, like, Triune members and the Cathedral of Light working together. But I guess the Cathedral of Light is demonic now. Since Anarius is probably a demon, right? He's pretty much trapped in hell. Clearly fallen from grace. And I'm not too sure where we go from here. 
not up this way, is it? Pretty sure it's not. Maybe it is. He's down here. Okay, it has to be this way. It needs time to recharge. There we go, boss time. The monks, or the clerics. I'm carrying too much. There we'll keep leveling up turf. Got that to level ten. We're getting pretty close to fifteen. We're carrying too much stuff. Let's get rid of all these blue pieces. These sacreds we have. I think the gems we should drop, like. Over the loot. Like, we don't need the gems that much. Well, not now. Eventually, you'll want the gems, though. If I ever play the... Play the rogue in, on the Eternal Realms in the future. And they start, like, releasing new levels of gems. Then you're going to want as many gems as you can. To keep upgrading them. But I don't really think we have to worry about that this season. Okay, we're at the vendor. It's a little laggy in this town. Special rare sword. Nice sword, low item power though. Probably won't be better than our other weapons. Unusual, but a good addition to my wares. I would like that. No upgrades yet. All right, check out the red legendaries. This is not an upgrade. It's next, nice. It's got a nice item power. Doesn't have any of the stats we want, though. It's too bad. Same with these boots. Yeah, nothing we want there. These are okay pants, though. But they're not better than the ones we got. We had some pretty nice pants. Alright, so let's hop into another dungeon, guys. Which one should we check out next? Do a con's grasp. Poison damage, empowered elites, monster bleeding damage, monster critical assist, and dodge breakers are the affixes. Alright, we're going in. in here. Thank you. 
Come on. We're stunned for so long there. Let's check what's over here. I need more time. Looks like there's a few elites. Next season's going to be all about uh, vampires, I think. It's called Season of Blood. And then I think the companion that we have with us is going to be a vampire hunter. So like a demon hunter, I guess. But not really. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. It won't be a demon hunter, that's for sure. Something like that, though, I would say. Not too sure if I'll play season two. Been playing a lot of Diablo last couple of months. Not as much as some some other people though. Some people have a, like multiple hundreds. I think season two is a good time to take a break. Season 3, I think, is going to be the one where they really got to hit the ball out of the park. It's going to be, you know, 2024 when that comes out, and it's going to set the tone for the new year of Diablo 4. Like, over six months is... Well, it's going to be, like, pretty much almost a year the game's been out by then. People will probably expect a lot from the game at that point. I'm not ready yet. I know I will. Yes. That's for sure. They've got all the feedback they need. That's <laughs> right. And uh, the data and information they've collected as well. Interested to see if they pull it off. And then a few months after that, we will probably start hearing about PoE 2. Next year is actually going to be a pretty big year for ARPGs, I think. Get to see if Diablo. Or makes a comeback and then we'll also get to see if the hype surrounding poe2 is is legit or not i think it'll be pretty good on release if anything the poe team learned is you're better off taking your time and making a game good on release but you can hold on to the hype than doing what Diablo 4 did, where they release it a little too early, 
and then they had all that hype. It was like, it was, people were loving the game. Well, they were leveling up for the most part, and then after a month or two went by, it really started to slide. POE2 can hold on to the hype, they can take over the, the RPG market for sure. Let's hope they don't rush it. They don't have to rush it. I think it's going to take the yeah, Alo 4 quite a while for them to to gain their player base back if they even do at all. They'll always keep their like core fans, so they just love the game, right? Just love Diablo. Like, one thing I will do, I do enjoy the story of Diablo. So when they release like the like an expansion to check out the new story, I'm probably coming back to check that out too. Just because I enjoy the story. And I think they kinda of put us on a cliffhanger with this one. Like we haven't even got to see, you know, Bale, Mephisto, or Diablo yet, so it's a lot of story to tell. Diablo 4. We are full on loot, guys, so let's head back. And we will deal with that. Give it over. Nope. It's too bad. That's a deal. This helmet's pretty good. It's a nice helmet right there. That's good to see. We're going to hold on to that. Yeah, that's a nice helmet. We just need to roll off the healing received. Probably do that after this dungeon. I'll shake on that. Hopefully we see some gloves. Gloves are not too bad. Let's check out a well, we're using these ones at the moment. That's a deal. These gloves aren't better. It's only got like one stat we want, just the critical strike chance. I'll shake on that. Yeah, that was good to see. I'm happy that we got these, uh, got this helmet. That right there. Alright, let's go finish this dungeon. Maybe we'll get a Paragon point from this. It's good. We got a nice helmet. Three stats we want on. It's taking us a while to find one of those. Something in the fort has followed us inside these awful tunnels. Been here for long years. It's now you walk up. I thought to flee. To abandon my fellow crusaders. There's our paragon points. Five percent damage there. It will no doubt spare my team. I can smell death in the air. It will come for me soon. I guess he's talking about the blood bishop. They have awoken the blood bishop. Alright. 
There we go. We gotta speed that up. That's <laughs> it. That has to become a little faster. I think it's slow because, like, the rogue just kills the boss in, like, under five seconds. Like, five seconds, pretty much, so. The game's like, what the heck? How's the fight done already? Alright, so let's deal with this loot here. And then we'll upgrade this helmet. It's got to be better than the helmet we got. Yeah. It's got better stats. That's for sure. I'll shake on that. That's a deal. All right, let's check out these, uh, these legendaries. Sacred legendary with an aspect we don't want. Another sacred legendary an aspect we do want. Another sacred legendary with an aspect we don't want. There's that. And another sacred legendary with an aspect we don't want. So there we go. We got another aspect there, so that's good. And now it is time to check out this helmet. Morgan's folly is lost in ruins. Going back is... This isn't like before. Okay. This isn't for the fort for Akarat. Surely you understand that. Let's toss this here. Really got... I know I keep saying this, but we gotta check out these bags. We have, we have a lot of these uh, hearts. I think that's the main thing we need to look at. So we got a helmet here. Let's go find... Uh, a good well, this one's good here I think we have a perfect one of those just looking for that aspect this is a perfect part of one of those aspects I don't know if this helmet's perfect it's pretty good Maybe we'll just put this one on. It's a really good helmet. I don't know. Should we put the perfect one on it? It depends if we have another one. I don't think we do. This is like just right under perfect. When we get to 100, we'll start using the perfect ones. Still got a long ways to go. All right. Off to... Um, I guess we'll upgrade this five times while we're here. Use it well. There we go. It's got more dexterity on it. Well, the other one doesn't have dexterity. Less max life by 11. Maybe if we turn into legendary, though, it'll go up. We'll have to see. All right, off to the Carlo, now occultist. There's something out there killing us, and no one will do anything. Extract this pretty cheap. That's how that's done. Okay, put the aspect in there, put the helmet in there, and that's how it's gonna look. Yeah, it looks like the it doesn't go up the stats. It's good to see, it's good to know. All right, there's our helmet, guys. Got more tool. The other one doesn't have total armor. We're trying to get cooldown reduction on this. So this is where we're get. Ooh. What don't we have enough of? Oh, we do. We have enough for three rolls. Roll off the healing received. Maximum energy. I'd rather take that. Keep what we currently have. We're looking for cooldown reduction, or like a damage reduction, like a one of these uh, damage reductions would be nice as well. All right, let's try again. We don't have too many more rolls here. Let's say no change on that, and no change on that. And that's it. That's all we got. Still a good helm though. 
It's got more armor on it. The max energy is pretty low roll on that. So we're going to try to get a better stat. Don't be a stranger. Come back soon. Yeah, just 11 less, less max life. Got a okay roll on that. The dexterity is a low roll. The total armor is pretty high, though. Just has the stats we want, except for the one we rolled. We're looking for cooldown reduction. But we'll take the... We'll take more energy. Why not? It's not a bad stat. But yeah, guys. That is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.